My name is Terry Karibu sana. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back long time. How have you guys been? Myself and my family have been doing great. Please allow me to do a voiceover on this video because there is a lot of background music that is going to give me copyright issues and that's why I have decided to do a voiceover. So the video is not going to get boring. It's a very interesting one. I hope you guys are going to enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, and share. There goes my heart beat. You are the I'm losing my sleep. Please come. So on today's video, we are going to Coney Island. Coney Island is located in the southwestern part of New York City in the Brooklyn borough. Uh, Coney Island is a home to an aquarium. The, um, that is the New York Aquarium, action park rides, restaurants, shops, and many more without forgetting the beach because there is an Atlantic Ocean there. It's about 35 kilometers or let's say 22 miles from Manhattan. It will take you about an hour while using the subway and less than an hour when you are driving. How to get there, you can use the Coney Island bound train. You can use the F train, the D train, the N train or Q train depending on where you're coming from. And the price of the train is... Um, 275 per swipe and you're only going to swipe once so that's very much affordable all these trains will get you there and it will take you about three minutes walk from the steelwell avenue that is where the subway is located for you to get to maybe the lunar park or the aquarium or the beach it will take you three minutes or even less and um, if you like amusement parks, the rides, then you must watch this video. Coney Island is an amazing town full of uh, fun places to explore. As I said, we have the Luna Park. As I said, we also have the New York National Aquarium, among others. So before getting here, we did a research on how to get tickets. You can get tickets online. Or you can get tickets at the gate. For us, we decided to get to get tickets at the gate because we wanted more explanation on how to go about it. Because upon researching, we realized that you can pay sixty-two uh, dollars per wristband from I think thirty-eight dollars to sixty-two per wristband, depending on height. Um, uh, and I think per ride was around $3. But upon reaching there, we realized that they can give you a card, reload that card, then swipe the card whenever you want to take a ride. And I felt that was much better. Instead of paying $62 per person, and you end up 
not taking those rides maybe because you are afraid of heights or you are afraid of uh, speed so we decided to take the card so we reloaded the card with about i think 50 dollars and we didn't even exhaust that for the four of us uh we used the 50 i think around 50 dollars we reloaded the card with around 50 dollars then per swipe i think it was four dollars because of the height of the kids and i also <laughs> yes i also did the rides and we really enjoyed it was so amazing the boys had an amazing time we both had an amazing time by the way with the fact that temperatures were so good it was not very hot compared to last year summer or even last year but one this year summer was so good it was not very hot i mean people were even able to go out comfortably with just their hat and sunglasses without experiencing the humidity i mean the humidity was not much compared to previous years this year summer was so good we had a lot of plans we even wanted to go to disneyland take the babies there fortunately or unfortunately duty calls and we had to cancel all the plans but we are hoping that we'll be able to tick that out of our bucket list this year before winter i'm not sure fingers crossed because i think right now things are about to get busy kids have already started school i mean the schools are opened and it's marathon when schools are open it's marathon so yeah we had an amazing time it was so much fun yeah i was trying to say something but i realized that someone was listening to me i don't know if they were listening to i don't know what was happening but yeah i had to keep quiet and pretend like i was not doing anything one thing i know about here is nobody has time for you nobody cares about what we're doing i don't know why she was looking at me but yeah so let's keep on enjoying this video guys if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my youtube channel like leave a comment tell me what you want to see next by the way i have a pile of questions that i'm supposed to do a sit down video and answer to those questions it's like get to know me but i have a lot of questions i don't know how i'm going to do that but i'm going to look for time do a sit down answer all your questions because you guys are my people and so you deserve answers to each and every questions that you ask i had um question tag on my instagram in case you're not following me there at terry Gaiseri. please go and follow me yeah and let's interact and have fun
So the boys decided they wanted to go into the water. We were not ready for that. I was not prepared. I didn't even carry an extra set of outfits for them. So that was not an option. I had to be that African mom and shout, Can we get out of here? We are not going into the waters today. We have to go home. But we will do that next time. And so yeah, they were cooperative. And they decided to play with sand for a few minutes before... Um, we decided to take a walk along this corridor, admiring the views here, the breeze from the beach, people walking, different kind of people. Here we, you will find each and every person from every corner of the world. That is one thing about New York City. You will never find yourself alone. There is always someone. There is always someone. So yeah. We had a lot of fun, by the way. We had a lot of fun. We were so tired. By the time we were getting home, we were so tired. It was just us to take a shower and sleep. So this, uh, they, ha they have a movie night, by the way. But we couldn't stay up to 8. Although the sunset is 8 p.m. But we couldn't stay for that long because of the kids. You know, they were tired. They need to go to bed early. Yeah, because I was already, I was already sleep training them to go to bed early before schools open because I didn't want us to kuvurugana, you know. So we decided to go for final rides, the boat ride, there is um, the wheel, the Ferris wheel. You'll get to see that. My boy is already here to help me edit this video. Close my heart to be to show I love you. I'm losing my sleep. Please come.
hearts and neon lights 